why do I take pictures? Um, it's a good question and I think it's one that I've never successfully answered. But as an unsuccessful answer, it's for me it's part of making history. I'm kind of making a history of my time as I see it. A very personal, very subjective history. So I use this medium and I try to look at the world that I live in and I try to understand it through that medium. And I try to make pictures that have a certain beauty as well. I kind of fell into photography in a way. It, it, I didn't study it. Um, I studied psychology. Yeah, well, Magnum's obviously been an important part of my life. And there's a sort of cliche that goes around about Magnum being like a family. Um, and it irritated me for a long time, that idea, because it's a business. But at the end of the day, when I think about it, it is kind of like a family too. I came into Magnum at a time when I wanted to travel. And it was important for me to have a, an agency, somebody that would be able to deal with my stuff. I could send film back from you know, Latin America or wherever I happened to be. And the agency that was obviously the one that I would like to be a part of was Magnum. So it's really important that they put effort into Magnum as an organization, not simply as a business. In other words, they're putting their photographs in and expecting next money out, but they actually put effort and work into making it happen and looking at which direction it's going to develop and evolve. Okay, tell me about your experience in the in the workshop, in this workshop in Barcelona specifically. Okay, I think the workshop went pretty well. Finally, you'd have to talk to the students to, to know if it did, but um, from my point of view, it was pretty successful. Quite often with a workshop, there's like one, possibly two people who kind of don't make it. Something goes wrong for them, they lose confidence, whatever, and they kind of end up being marginalized. And this has happened a few times, not just to me. Hang on, this is... <laughs> I mean, what you're looking for from a workshop is some progress. Um, and you especially need a kid on a bike. <laughs> What is your advice for the for the students that uh, are studying for the people that are studying photography? Well, I think you know two or three things. I mean, you, people get clogged up with ideas about what they should and shouldn't do as a photographer. There's two types of photographers essentially: those who provide services to other people, and there are those who say, "Look." This is important to me. I'd like you to feel that it's important to you. Therefore, I'm taking these photographs because they mean something to me. You got a camera, you got some eyes. Look, look at the world, look at what's interesting, look at what interests you. And that's your starting point. Not some rules about you've got to do that, and you've got to do this. And look at the pictures you're taking. Look at them as a whole because they're images. Take care, pay attention to the detail, pay attention to the light, pay attention to what's happening. And, you know, if you start to do that, 
then they start to be a photographer. We can cut this in, you know. Um. <laughs>